Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero, where today we are going to go meet back up with Marguerite over at her greenhouse. So what I want to actually do is kind of pack everything up, make sure I have my uh, prawn suit here empty, and I want to actually load it up here into the back of the sea truck real quick. Now this is something I can do, I can just kind of uh, hover my prawn suit over thankfully for that jetpack upgrade that we got for it. And I just walk backwards and boom, it docks and I can climb into the sea truck Welcome right here. Aboard, Captain. Also, let's make sure I drop off my water so I'm not running around with it on me all day along with all these nutrition bars. Anything else in here that I need to clean out? Nope, looks like the sea truck is ready to go. Oh, the only thing I need to do before I forget is actually repair the prawn suit. I am also grabbing me some fevered peppers and some Chinese potatoes just so I have some food. I honestly need to eat the peppers and I need to find a way to get these potatoes planted. Yep, there we go. That's the food I'm going to bring with me. It's most likely going to spoil, so I'm not that worried about it because we do also got the nutrition bars, but it does help with the water. But yeah, anyways, we're going to head over to Delta Station here to start off. Uh, actually, no, we're going to head over past Delta Station over to the Lily Pad Islands. Hopefully I can get there without running into the Reaper. Did I just call it a Reaper? Sorry, it's the... was it? The Shrimp Boy. The Shrimp Leviathan. Uh, it's not a Reaper. Reapers were in the previous game. Okay, so we are passing Delta Station right now. All I'm gonna do here is hug the left side here, wrap around through the purple vents, and pass over the Mercury 2's aft section, and we should be right where I want to be. Also, sorry, I just noticed my gain got messed up again. I fixed it. Okay, it looks like we are coming up on the lily pads. So we should need to start taking... Uh, I guess I got to get a bit more towards the middle of the lily pads before I have to turn. Also, I found out what these things are. They're technically a leviathan. You know like how uh, the reefbacks were a leviathan that are passive? These guys are a leviathan that are passive. Apparently, we can go up to them and actually, like, pet them on the eye. Or, not pet them. Pet them and look into their eye. It's weird. Okay, so apparently I'm looking for an iceberg, but I don't see one. Anywhere. Unless that's the iceberg I need to head to over there. Um, anything? I think that might be the iceberg. I mean, it's the only one I see, and I don't want to risk accidentally going off the map. So I need to turn that way, northeast. I just, damn it, I de-docked. Back up, please. Okay, did you reconnect? No, I, uh, I made, I did a big no-no. Thank you. It redocked finally. All of them? Yep. All of them. I'm gonna turn... This way. We're gonna head for that iceberg, I guess. Oh yeah, no, that's the iceberg right there. I see the greenhouse. Now, I think, uh, it looks like the Leviathan's more to the left here, but there is one over in this area. So let's do be mindful. Luckily, I do got the little, was it, defense system for this sea truck, so we should be honestly fine if it does I'm trying to even see if I can spot it I mean that leviathan does not scare me again reaper be scarier that dude is just a baby bitch all right I've seen scarier leviathans I've been told he has a scarier big brother down in the like the catacombs the shadow leviathan uh I guess we'll we'll meet that fear when we get it but here we go we're gonna hop out the sea truck and we're going to go up to Marguerite's greenhouse. She does have a bunch of peppers here on the plant, on this, so let's just, yeah. Should have brought her a potato. Probably hasn't had one in years. This is pretty interesting. I didn't even think that there were icebergs really out this way. Um. Huh. Okay, on my map, it actually shows that there's a like, bunch of icebergs over here. And one of them has a guy under it. Was it? Leviathan under it. Let's... 
I don't really see anything too interesting. I guess the only interesting stuff is up here in the greenhouse. It looks like there's going to be two data pads. Maybe a scannable. Damn satellite hasn't passed by in a while. I guess that was your doing. Sam's not the only one in the family who knows, knew, what to do with vague directions and old wire. She was an original, that sister of yours. First time I met her, I was sure she was Altera through and through. Not a crease in her uniform. Sending those damn bird bots to spy everywhere. Then, she surprised me. Maybe a little too much. Meaning? If you really want to know, there's a PDA on the bench that can point you in the right direction. You need anything else? Don't bother me. <laughs> but you can help yourself to the greenhouse. The least I can do to repay you for getting those spine pests off my back. Okay. Oh, damn. Hold up. We get a bunch of... We get the marble melons. These are ones that I accidentally messed up back in the previous game. Where I wasn't able to uh, get them because I let them spoil before I could plant them. Oh, get me one of you. There we go. We got the seeds. That's what I did wrong. I, I harvested them all and let them spoil. And then it cut one up for seeds. That's exactly what I did wrong. Scan you. It's good to see, though, that it was worth coming out here. We get plants. I guess the Chinese potatoes that I had from the Mercury 2 spoil, I could have always got them here as well. Anything else? Can't scan you. Okay, here's the data pads. Thanks for the food and water. Let's, uh, let's do this one. I've already synthesized an antidote and stashed it in a cave. I can go grab it and... That's your plan? You don't think it'll work? You're thinking too small. Like maybe if you're polite enough about destroying the bacteria, Altera will come around and see it your way. But do you believe in yourself or not? I think so. You think so? Come on. Is a bacteria a threat or isn't it? It is. Does it need to be dealt with or not? It does. So who's right on this? I am. Say it like you mean it. I am. I said, like you mean it, not like you're testifying before a rigged transgov court. I am. Great. Then what you gotta do is seal off the whole cave. I've got just the stuff. Made it proficient, but it blew the whole ice shelf halfway to deep space. Vaporized all the fish. Okay. And you gotta hit the lab, too, or there's just no point. Actually, you know what? Let me take care of that one. It'll be fun. Damn, <laughs> Marguerite is a terrorist. All right, Marge, old girl. We hate this greenhouse. So here are some pointers to remember so we never have to do the worst parts again. Too bad you can't fight malnutrition by hunting it down and killing it. So, first thing, insulation. First few nights, the soil was rock solid. Ended up having to insulate the damn place with dehydrated kelp. Adding a thermal mass helped, too. Heat from barrels of water. Probably should have just eaten the damned kelp. But, nope, my body was craving a salad. Wish I was just made of exosuit. Next, grow lights were a must-have. Gotta admit, I felt pretty proud of my first full crop of lettuce. Fed half of it to Preston. That snow stalker will eat practically anything. Always spits half of it out, though. Another thing we have in common. The slobbery green mess makes good compost. So, this is Preston, her snow stalker. That's nice. Preston's plant. Do I plant these? I guess. We'll take two of them back to try. But I'm really not seeing anything else here in Marguerite's greenhouse. Um, I guess we'll go down to our uh, sea truck. We'll go take a nap, sleep through the night here, and then we will find our way back home. And what we'll do is go do some work on the base. Because I actually had a bunch of work that I did in the 
in between episodes that got lost because I forgot to save. We can go do that and get caught back up. And we can actually work on making the... What was it called? The storage room. That's what I was working on. Alrighty. So we're back up. We're ready to pilot. Head back to base. Oh, I forgot. We're in the middle of an iceberg. I really can't turn around in here, can I? Yeah, I can. So what we'll do is... The stupid idea would be head straight for Delta Station. The smart idea would be to head a little southwest. So that way we get back into the lily pads. And we avoid all the leviathans. So that's what I'm going to do. You know what else I can do? Because I just realized it. Because last episode I was able to scan the alien containment unit. We can build a fish tank and we can hatch all those eggs I got. Also, hold up. I just saw a fish I want to scan. I didn't. I hope I can pick it. Can I pick you up or are you too big? I feel like these guys are going to be too big. Oh, what are you doing to me? I, I can't even scan you. Or did I already scan you? Oh, yeah, no, I think I've already scanned these guys because he's going to confuse the hell out of me here. I'm going to be tripping. Oh, no. I'm tripping. Ooh, we're stuck. Oh, there we go. We're docking back up at the base. Because we are home. So, first things first here. I want to get uh, stuff built so I can go and plant. Oh, I need to hurry. I need to hurry, hurry, hurry. I might have to just do this quick as well. Oh, Ooh, wrong button. Let's do this. Um, let's see if it will go in one of these for now. If not, we will plant them elsewhere. Oh, they do. I can plant multiple? Now, unfortunately, I can't take that out until... Yeah. It's fully grown. But, yeah, that... Yeah, apparently I can plant multiple of these in one pot. Holy... They might be the best food in the game. Okay, so first things first here, we got to make the glass tunnel that I had last time. It doesn't technically have to be glass, but I wanted it to be glass, so I'm going to make it glass. And well, bam That is the first step, and now we need the large room, and you to make sure it attaches over there to the prawn suit bay. And I need two plasteel ingots. I need another plasteel ingot, which means I need three more titanium. There we go. We can quickly craft this up. Now, with this other lithium, boom. And we just poked a bunch of holes in the base. We got a problem. I need to reinforce quick. Oh, back. Out. 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 Come on. I need just two titanium, and then we just need reinforcement. Just need to throw it somewhere. Wait, what am I missing? Titanium. Boom, there we go. Now, I gotta run around the base here. We gotta find all the holes that got poked. We gotta go repair them, so that way... I think it said only seven, right? Hull integrity restored. Oh, there we go. Draining it's draining. Initiated. So now, we do got this large room. This is exactly what I wanted. Now, next up, uh, for what we need to focus on... I think it's going to be this enamel glass because I had a ceiling or a glass ceiling over here in my personal room and what did it what did it say I needed for that I think just titanium now yeah I need two more titanium boom and uh to actually get this we're gonna to have to go out here and we're gonna actually have to deconstruct my solar panels real quick and we're gonna go place them over there on top of the large room Okay, now with the power outside, or well, moved over there to be on top of the large room, we can install the glass dome. Look at that. Now, like, when I'm laying in my bed, I can look up and see out into the white, frothing water that's right above my room. But now, what I think, what I want to do is build an alien containment unit. I think we're going to do it down here on this end. I need five glass and two titanium. I feel like glass is going to be the biggest problem because I don't have a whole lot of quartz. Um, yeah, glass is going to be a problem. 
Luckily, I own a prawn suit, and I know exactly where to go to get crystal. Alrighty, so, if you're wondering where I have gone here to get crystal, I've actually headed over here to the ice shelf. So you guys know where we went onto the ground and had to do- where we got the snow fox and where we had to deal with all the snow. Guys, yeah, we're over by that. We're in the water. There's all these silica deposits, or the quartz deposits. So I figured we'd just come over here and mine one. Okay, I'm pretty sure we just fully mined that. So what I'm gonna do, I think we got way more than enough crystal off of that. For probably a good three fish tanks. So, we're just gonna head home. Um... I just found a hole. I don't think I was supposed to go down into it. Is there anything down here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Actually, yes. I was supposed to go down here. This stuff is what I need to make the grapple hook arm. Give me. Give me, give me, give me. Yeah. What is this place? really don't think I should be down in here right now. Uh, I should probably be heading back to base because it keeps just going down. Ooh, I need to look into this area. Because it looks kind of interesting and I didn't know that this is where I get these. These root p pustules. I need that to make benzene and I need benzene to make the grapple hook arm. So I got some good news. We're back to base. And we are finally able to, if I can, boom, we'll put this one down right here. We're finally able to move these guys over. Well, bam. Now, if I'm also correct, we should get it lined up. Should be able to plant a bunch of melons. Uh, where is, thank you. Still got two seeds. I know I dropped two of them. I don't remember where I dropped them, though. So let's throw you in there. Hopefully you will grow me some melons. Now back to the fish tank. I'm going to have to go grab some water here, actually, before I do that. But we need to grab all the quartz out of the back of the prawn suit. We need to go take it. Oh, what did I just transfer over? Uranium. Why do I have uranium on me? Where'd I get that? Oh yeah, no, I remember now. I took apart some of my uh, my storage containers. And that's where I got those from. Huh. Can't believe I forgot about that, but yeah. Oop, quartz. Let's get the quartz. Now I did get a lot of quartz. Quite a bit of quartz. I was gonna say quartz for days, but I'm probably gonna run out of this fairly quick. Okay, I got my five glass. I'm going to start dropping things off out of my inventory that I feel like I don't need on me. Such as copper, wires, and reactor cells. Like, who needs to run around with your reactor cell on them? Come on, like seriously, nickel. Come on, two dead batteries. I don't need those. Uh, I'll throw you guys in there for now for storage. I'll keep that egg on me because I'm going to immediately throw it like into this containment unit once it's built. An aquarium just for looks, or your own personal sushi factory, you decide. Uh, did it just say my own personal sushi factory? I mean, it could be. I need quartz and titanium. How do I, how would I set that up? I've never actually managed to set up a, a farm, a fish farm in Subnautica. I've only ever been able to do the, like, the crops. Boom, there's our fish tank. Let's go grab all the eggs. One, two, three, four, five. We got five eggs. Hold up, we got the grub too. I'm pretty sure we can put this grub in there. Do I drop you guys in the fish tank? No, because I feel like these larger creatures will eat you. So if I go and I drop just all of these. Can I drop you in here? Yes, I can. There's just a glow grub in here. It's awesome. What am I actually going to go do now, actually? If I can do this. We're going to go grab some of the plants I have over here. Get some seeds for them. So, we'll chop up one of these ribbon plants. Yeah, that's four. I want... Give me... 
as much of this antenna plant as you can. I already broke it down. Uh, we'll just take those two seeds. Can I replant this here? No, I can't. All right, you got a creep vine. I need a creep vine cluster. Let's get a couple of the clusters just because they look better than the normal creep vine. And let's go decorate this tank. So I really have not collected that many plants at all. This run through Subnautica. I know back in the, the previous game, we got a couple dozen. We got a bunch, actually. And it looked really nice. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to let these uh, these ribbon plants here. Those ones, not the rib. They're not ribbon plants, but these ones here. I'm going to let them get fully grown. And then, yeah, I'll use them to fill up the rest. But that's the fish tank for now. I'm thinking that it was it. Also, I'm thinking one of the eggs I got in here, this one specifically, I'm thinking this is one of those whales. And I really, 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 really kind of hope it's, um, I don't know what this one is. And I don't know what this one is. I'm pretty, I think this one here, the spiky one, I'm hoping this is a lobster boy. It's either that or this is a lobster boy. But I don't know what this one is. Okay. This one I found down by the sea monkey, so it might be a sea monkey. I have no clue what this weird one is. I found it in a cave. Also, our Preston plants are growing up pretty good. Same with our melons. Now, I'm pretty sure this entire planter here is eventually going to be filled with melons. And what I'm technically doing is slowly trying to move it so all this stuff and this stuff are going to be over in this room. And this is just going to become my bedroom, you know, my little personal area. But anyways, if you guys have found yourself liking the episode today, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell so that you guys can be notified upon me posting new vi videos. And yeah, this has been Gun Shimori signing out. Peace.